with Mike at Premier Pet Supply and today we're talking about ear health. You know Zen is a Cocker Spaniel poodle mix so he has those beautiful long ears but I have to be really careful about keeping them clean even when I give him a bath just how I'm putting water on him. I gotta make sure it doesn't get in his ears. I'm glad you mentioned that. Dogs with longer ears are predisposed to getting ear infections but while bathing a dog what a lot of people don't recognize is you have to be really careful about not getting water or letting water in the ear. Yeah. So what my recommendation is is taking cotton balls and packing the ear before a bath. Oh, yeah. okay, but let me ask you this. When they're in the bath, sometimes they shake. Sure. W wouldn't they fall out? If they do, just pop them back in. I mean, yeah. that's just the best thing to do. It really does help to reduce the amount of water getting in the ear, and that water in the ear does lead to quite a few ear infections. Well, I will definitely try that, and when it fails, I'm going to call you and be like, I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> well, in the meantime, there's different things that you can do to also offset the ear infections as okay. well. So getting some uh, a very good all natural non alcohol based uh, ear cleaner okay. and doing that regularly. It's re recommended to do it at least once a week. Really? Yeah. And the best way to do that again is utilizing that cotton ball as, as opposed to letting this squirt directly in the dog's ear yes. abruptly. What you want to do is soak the cotton ball and then squeeze it and let it drip in the ear canal. Oh. And then you take two fingers and then massage the base of the ear so that you're getting all the loose wax and the debris and that's you know that's something that you know that they're going to shake out the excess of right right so you want to make sure you're loosening it up but also taking that cotton ball and then wiping the inner the yes. outer ear with that too so you're cleaning the outside of the dog's ears well. absolutely um, what's this one so that's just a different option wonderside uh the scout sounder is what i showed first wonderside makes a really good ear cleaner as well that's all natural love recommending these um another thing to use sometimes the ears can smell they get a little stinky oh yeah yeah, yeah. so like an ear wipe more regularly is something that you can utilize as okay. well. But they're um, not too wet, I wouldn't imagine. No, right? they're not. But this is just a way to clean like the ear, you know, as far as you can, you know, you can you can reach and okay. on the outer, you know. And the thing is, is that um, it, it's something that can also be part of the diet because if the dog's getting too much yeast in the sugar, like those ear infections are actually yeast infections. And so really? you want to make sure you find something like a good food that's actually grain free. Okay. It doesn't have a lot of the carbs that tend to turn to sugars. Okay. The sugars feed yeast and that leads to greater ear infections or a greater um, you know, uh, frequency of ear infections, I should say. So I got a question for you. I sometimes let Zen like nibble on whatever I'm eating. Yeah. Would human food contribute to that more? Not necessarily. It depends oh, okay. if the human food is, you know, carbs like breads or potatoes right. and you know things like that. Oh, no, I'm loading up on the carbs. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you get all the potato <laughs> chips. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just watch that too. And that's okay. just something you can do to help to offset the ear infections. All right, here's to dogs with long ears like my Cocker Spaniel Poodle mix. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thank you.